What are you most looking forward to? Taking all my clothes off. Hi guys, so I am back from Texas. I went to Texas this, this is Lenny. What's up Lenny? I went to Texas this past weekend for my best friend Taylor's bachelorette party. It was so much fun. It was so nice to get away. It was at this beautiful lake house. Um, literally like the backyard was the whole entire lake. And it was so peaceful and quiet. And it was just us girls. It was so much fun. But I do have a few clips. I didn't film though. I didn't vlog the whole time I was there just because we were, you know, sat around talking for most of the weekend. I did film a few clips. So I will play those for you guys right now. Taking care of a little deodorant. Something. Wait, yeah, you have to do a trip. Mother, father. Are you excited about this weekend? I feel like it's weird that it's actually here because we've been talking about it and for so long. And I'm like, what are you most looking forward to? Taking all my clothes off. And running around with your nipple towel. Yeah, my nipple tassels that Taryn got me. <laughs> I only got you one. Okay, what are you most excited about? I'm drinking a lot of alcohol. Okay. <laughs> Probably most excited about getting to the house and washing my armpits. <laughs> I went through some really rough turbulence and I got nervous sweats. We are making a pit stop in Target to get a few pizzas, fruits yeah. and veggies. Pizza. A lot of meat. I just have a little secret I need to share with you guys. That, um, <laughs> stop laughing at me. So I just want you to know that I love Ashley more than anything. She is the sweetest friend and um, y'all better be nice to her and love her a lot. And um, that's all I really had to say, but she's the best. And I hope she finds this later because I freaking love her. Bye. Guys, I want her to find this later like as a surprise to tell Ashley why you love her. I love you because you did my hair. <laughs> and that's really it. <laughs> because she did your hair too? Can you see me? Because you're just really easy to talk to. Yeah, is this your sweetest? so goofy. You're so goofy. <laughs> Chelsea and I are the only ones up at the crack of dawn. So we're gonna have our coffee right here. A little romantic setup, I love it. All right, we're headed to dinner. I'm gonna take a group photo first. Oh, Mrs. Allen. Hi. 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 
Night on the town. Night on the town. Well, the two girls who get car sick got stuck in the back. It's dark, you can't see this, but I just wanted to let you guys know <laughs> that we're not okay. I repeat, update. not okay. Welcome. Okay, so here's the update. Wow. Those little things hanging. We got home and Ashley found the, where do you look on this? Do you look in here or do you look at yourself? And Ashley found the sliding glass door open, which means somebody's in the house and she's sleeping on the couch to protect us because she's such a good friend and I'm the bride and I can't die. <laughs> she's ready. She's armed and ready. <laughs> I'm gonna turn that the other way. There you go. Okay, well it's just been a really great trip and I'm just sad now. <laughs> Put it away. Can I really sleep with it by the way? No. Probably. No, because no, I'll come down for my phone again. <laughs> you like <laughs> Where's the turn off button? That works. and I was happy to capture some of the moments and just how beautiful it was outside. And oh my gosh, you could just see all the stars at night. It was so peaceful. I was saying afterwards, we were like, okay, we should make this like a tradition thing, like bachelor party <laughs> once a year for Taylor. Yeah, her wedding is in a couple of months, so we're gonna go back to Texas for that, but oh, it was just such a great time. I've been back for a couple of days, um, just kind of playing catch up and um, just getting some last minute stuff done that I needed to do. I was gonna go shoot something for Kenneth Cole outside, and then Ryan, my photographer, had to jump on a call with the client, and uh, so I think I'm gonna go try to get my workout done really quickly. I slept in quite a bit today. I think I'm still kind of tired from my trip, but I slept in until like 8.30, which is so not like me. I'm usually up at like 5.30. I'm trying to get all my outside stuff done today because snowstorm's coming tomorrow. Actually, it hits tonight, so it's gonna be a little, little crazy tomorrow. I'm out of the gym now and I'm I'm actually wearing a pajama top from Target or not a pajama top but like a this is not a, this is not a workout bra. I'm wearing it to the gym. I'm just going to try to fool everybody. So for my top, I'm wearing my fake gym top. I'm wearing my Zella rose gold leggings. You know when I bought these leggings, I was like, "Oh, these will be super easy. Everything will go with them." No, I have really like worn them only once or twice because nothing cute goes with them except for just a black bra. Now that I've got my fake top, all is right in the rose gold lightning pan world. So I'm wearing rose gold pants, rosy colored top, rose gold headphones. My lips match my top, rose gold hardware on my backpack. I hate myself right now. <laughs> Remember last week when I left my keys at home and then I banged on the wrong apartment door? <laughs> Usually Tuesdays I love because my workout only takes like an hour and it's upper body so it's not too like exhausting it's just upper body but I'm going to rinse off now it's my second shower of the day probably take one before bed because I'm a weirdo and then we're gonna run down and shoot for Kenneth Cole I'll see you then all right I feel like I just turned the camera off rinsed my body and I'm now looking fly now I'm looking fly as hell. You look like you run shit in that outfit. I do. Like all, all the shit that's around us, like you run that. I'm gonna freeze. Okay, here's like the all thing. all-inclusive shit. We had this outfit 
We went and shot this outfit before I went to Texas when it was like in the 60s. And now Stella chewed up the memory card that the Q&A was on, which is why there was no Q&A last week. And so now we're out reshooting this outfit and it's cold. Did you get all that? Got it. I mean, you run shit, so things will go your way. Science. Proven. You're sweet. Can I, numbers and math, physics. Can I borrow your ear warmers? Equations. No. Can I borrow your ear warmers? Mm -mm. Please. Anything below 50 degrees, your warmers are on. Okay, here we go. I need to zip up my chest. Area. Oh, you need to zip your warm yeah. jacket? Zip okay, yeah, same. Well, I mean, it's cold, so a smart person would have a big old jacket. You know what? Your child chewed up the memory card, so now we have <laughs> my to, child. to reshoot. Ready? Mm hmm. Oh, shit. Not that bad. It's not that bad. You're in a puffer coat. I well, have I mean, on like, open toed shoes. Most people would be. Ugh, I hate you. Bye. Yeah, I have the quickness. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap. Oh my gosh, I'm so cold. Ryan almost just stepped in dog shit, too. I don't think I've ever seen you do those moves You're before. Very, very quick. That was really good. You should be impressed. I am impressed. 32 years old, still move. <laughs> We are about to cross the street and go back home. I guess we could have used the crosswalk like normal like people. Normal folks, yeah. yeah. These are the shoes. Whoa. Go ahead. These are the shoes I was shooting, by the way. Look how cute these are. Yeah. It's just um, for Instagram, but I love Kenneth Cole. Um, you and and these Ken go way back. You and Ken go way back. They do. What? Anyways, it's true. These shoes are super cute. I love them. Hold on, tell me in a second. Oh. Hello. Hey. You want to know something funny? Mm -hmm. I'm wearing sticky boobs and they're literally down to my belly button. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan just told me, Ryan just gave me the lowdown on how Kenneth Cole got his start. I told you, me and Ken go way back. And it's a really cool story, but how did you know that? Uh, I know very many random facts. Why do you now? know so many things? Like if Jenna and I ever have a question, we're always like, Brian will know. Brian, you're very smart. Thank you. I've got a great friend named Googles. <laughs> All right, so I'm making my after workout protein shake and you guys have been asking me, um, did you fart again? I'm literally gonna throw up all over myself. No, it's, stop laughing. <laughs> So you guys always ask me what protein powder I'm using and we use the Lifetime Fitness Vegan Protein in chocolate and we also love the mint chocolate as well. The vanilla is not that great but the chocolate and the mint chocolate are the best. Now I'm going to sit down and do some editing. I'm going to go through the, oh, I'm going to go through the photos that we just took and I'm going to edit. I think I have to pick like my top three, send them over to my agent, she sends them to the brand and they pick which one they like out of the top three. So that is how this campaign is working. Every campaign is different. So I'm gonna go find photos, edit them, get them set off. I stopped at Target and I got a couple of things. So I was just going to show you guys what I got. First of all, I did get something that's not from Target. It's from TJ Maxx and it is this little handbag. Isn't this so cute? I don't know. I thought there was something kind of like vintage looking to it. I don't know if it's the way that it's shaped or what. Who makes this? Madison West and it was only $24.99 but I thought it was just so cute and from Target I got this who what where cropped trench coat with this really pretty ruffle detail I cannot wait to wear this I just thought this was the cutest thing actually like buttoned up with like a treadle neck underneath and jeans love this and then I got this dress. It's like a polka dot, black and, is this black? Yeah, black and white, sheer, with this tear 
like ruffled tier on the bottom. I think it's like a three tier, but it's kind of diagonal. I thought it was really cool with like edgier boots as well. So yeah, that was my little Target haul, my little Texas haul. I think that's all I got. I'm like looking right now, I think that's it. In the airport parking lot and I was shoving these things in my suitcase. Oh, I also got underwear, of course. I feel like Target just has the best so like sleep shorts because I normally sleep in like little boy shorts and a matching like bralette or something, like a bandeau or a, not a sports bra, but like those little bra tops like I was wearing at the gym. And I always stock up on those because they're like $5 and they're so comfortable. I think that's pretty much all I have in my PJ drawer now is those little sets. But yeah. All right. Just thought I would show you that. Now I don't know what to do. So I'm going to go finish. I'm washing the sheets right now because Stella's getting a bath. So when Stella gets a bath, everybody gets a bath. Just like clean start. <laughs> finish up editing and I'll see you guys maybe in a little bit. Probably... For dinner. Ryan's at the gym and I just made dinner. Um, Stella and I are watching the news, keeping an eye on the storm that's coming in. I have an um, event to go to tomorrow actually for Charlotte Tillsbury and she's actually gonna be there. So I really hope that doesn't get canceled. Hmm, it might. Anyways, I'm having a Dr. Prager's burger that I already took a bite out of. Oops and mashed potatoes and green beans. And I actually made this whole meal because I was craving mashed potatoes. <laughs> I was like, what goes with mashed potatoes? Mm, everything. I just made this because I didn't feel like cooking anything. So it's like the Prager's goes in the oven and then the two things go like on the stove and I don't have to mess with it because I'm working on April Magazine right now. And yeah, so I wanted something quick and easy that I didn't have to like maintain. So this is always Good. Right, so I just ate dinner and I've been working on the magazine for like 15 minutes. And I think it's time for me to take Stella to the park and play for a little bit because uh, we are going to be making quick trips outside tomorrow. So we're going to go play for a little bit. Oh, Stella. Before I go, I just wanted to let you guys know, for everyone who is a part of the Life by Her Facebook group and get the magazine. We are doing a New York City meetup in April, the first weekend of April on Sunday. Not Easter Sunday, not the first, but the next Sunday. We're doing a meetup here in the city. It's gonna be kind of the same idea as last time. We're gonna do bowling and it's gonna be catered and we're gonna have like goodie bags and stuff. It's gonna be fun. So. Um, for those of you who like aren't in the Facebook group and you, you aren't getting the memo, just shoot me an email and I'll give you all the details. But um, yeah, if you are in the Facebook group, go check it out. I'm gonna be making the announcement um, soon. We're only allowing, like I think 50 people is like the max that can come. We're also gonna invite like six subscribers um, who, you know, you don't have to be in the Life by Hair community to come. We're just gonna invite you guys. So we're gonna try to see how we can set that up in order for it to be fair, like who can come. But stay tuned for that. I'll give you guys more details once we figure it, once we figure it out. Okay, we're gonna go to the park. Hold on. Do you go bye-bye? You wanna go bye-bye? Let's go bye-bye. Let's go bye-bye. <laughs> She's not gonna wait very long, so I gotta go. I'll see you guys later tonight. Bye. I just showered for the third time today. I've been putting on my face lately is my Drunk Elephant Eye Serum and around my eyes and my eyelids. Then I have been using this stuff right here. This licorice root bright skin and it's really kind of helped me even out my skin tone which is what I needed so badly um, and I just got it on Amazon it's been really great I'm doing a mix of my drunk elephant vitamin C serum and I put that like all over my neck all over my chest and then I mix that actually with this little sample size <laughs> that I have I really love this drunk elephant face oil I just need to like buy the full size one this is what I've been doing and as for like my skin and my hair, I'll just spray a little bit of this hair and body mist a little bit in my hair. And then sometimes I will put my Dr. Jard Tiger Grass Cream. I really love this stuff, but it's pretty thick, so I don't really use it. Oops. And it's expensive, so I don't really use it unless I absolutely 
need it. So that is my skincare routine. Like right now, kind of changes, you know. I feel like your skin gets so accustomed to what you're using that I think it's good to kind of switch up like your same products. I really love my lactic acid, but again, you can only use this like once a week. Same with like my glycolic acid um, and stuff like that. So and I have a pimple right here, so I always do my spot treatment on that. I'm literally almost out. Look how empty that is. It's bedtime. Well, kind of. I'm going to go finish um, season finale of The Bachelors tonight. So I have to watch that and then I'm gonna work on the magazine and I'm gonna go to bed. But I'll see you guys next vlog, which the Q&A will be in next vlog. Good night.